So today I'm going to show you how I make my soy milk. And I'm going to walk you through all the ingredients and what you're going to need to make your own homemade delicious soy milk. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, is your soybeans. And I buy my soybeans in bulk and they cost $2.25 a pound. And I just get a bag of them and then when I run low, I just refill the bag and I reuse the little twisties. Um, you're going to need one of these, sieves, 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 your measuring cup that comes with your soya joya an empty glass container. You're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of salt, agave, as much as you want. I put about three tablespoons of agave. And this is my homemade vanilla. So just some homemade vanilla. And then of course you're gonna need your Soya Joya 4, which is amazing. And we shall get started. So the first thing you're going to do is measure out your soybeans. And this little container is half a cup. So I'm going to show you, you're going to need one cup, so you can see. One cup of soybeans. And these are organic non-GMO soybeans. You're going to put them in here and you're going to want to rinse them off. And I'm going to show you why. Now I've noticed that they give off this weird, bubbly, soapy, soapy little thing. And if you don't rinse them, then that'll go into your milk and you don't want that. So you want to do a good rinse. Okay, and then I'm going to put them in my glass container. You can use a jar. You can use whatever you have. And I'm going to fill this up with water. And then I'm just going to cover it and let it soak for 24 hours. Now the difference between this and my almond milk is the almonds you can soak for five to six hours and bam it's done in you know 15 minutes you've got almond milk so this takes a little bit longer and a little bit more preparing in advance so i'm going to set this aside and let it soak overnight i had this soaking last night and it's soaked and this is what they will look like when they have soaked for 24 hours and i'm going to rinse these off and then i'm going to show you what i'm going to do so now you want to take your soya joya and you want to fill it up with water right between the two lines that are in the bottom there. There. And now I'm going to take my soybeans and I'm going to place them in the soy maker. And place the top on. Then I'm going to plug it in. It's going to beep. And normally what I do for my almond milk is I do the raw juice, and that's done in no time. The soaked beans is the one that I'm going to push. And then this is going to get warm, and it's basically going to cook the beans and mix it at the same time. And this takes a little longer. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll come back when it is done. So it's been about 28 minutes, and it's beeping, and it's telling me I'm ready. So I unplug it and then I'm going to take, this is really hot, so you do not want to be touching this. And you can tell that it's steaming. Okay, so now you're going to lift it up and that is what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how I wash my soya joya because I had some questions about it. So basically what I do 
is I put my hand here on the plug part and I hold that and then I run this underwater and this is all sealed and you can see this part is hard to get off so I take my sponge now just get your soap on there and I just scrub it off and it comes off really easily and then I just rinse it off and I always keep it facing down I'm never gonna turn it upwards and then I just lay it to dry so now you're gonna need your little Soya Joya jug and then a little attachment that goes on top and then I'm just gonna pour this beautiful soy milk through here and let it drain I'm gonna take my rubber spatula and just press it down press it down squeeze all the stuff out now I know there's stuff you can make with the leftover, this stuff, but I, I have not explored that yet. So I just put it in my compost. So I'm gonna do this with all my milk and then we'll come back. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I wash this here. And what I always do is I put my thumb over these holes, cause you never know. And then I also wash this with soap and water and I use my scrubber. Cause you can see the soy milk really leaves a residue on there. And so you really just want to scrub it clean. And this only takes about, you know, 10 seconds. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna let it sit upside down. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare what I put in my soy milk. You can drink it plain, you can add whatever you want, but I add some organic raw agave, and that's about three tablespoons. I just eyeball the ingredients. I add some of my homemade vanilla, which I have a video of if you're interested. About one teaspoon of that. And then I add about a quarter teaspoon of salt and then I pour it in and I let it sit on my counter until it cools and then I refrigerate it and that is as easy as it can get enjoy thanks for watching